five agreements. They're all easy. This is easy stuff. Every single person in this room can understand this stuff. You just got to listen, you got to think, and you got to use your common sense, right? You're using common sense, not anything twisted or overly political or doctrinaire. Airport parcel map. What is an airport parcel map? That is going to be the key thing I want you to see and remember, the airport parcel map. The 1981 Santa Monica City Council Resolution. Well, that City Council Resolution passed in 1981. What were you doing in 1981? What were you doing in 1981? <laughs> Long time ago, huh? That's 31 years ago. That resolution is still law. It still governs the city conduct. And my question is, why is the city ignoring it? Still law. 1948 instrument of transfer. That's from the FAA. That's the government when they turned back stuff they didn't need after World War II. They had an instrument of transfer back to the city. And that instrument of transfer, we're going to call what? We're going to call it the dead hand of the law. Instrument of transfer, that's the dead hand of the law. Then you have the 1984 Santa Monica Airport Agreement. You, you've seen the Santa Monica Airport Agreement, you've heard it talked about, but you're going to find out things about the Santa Monica Airport Agreement that you're saying, huh, I didn't realize it was that weak, that easy to get around it. And then the 1994 Grant Agreement, well, that's the 1994 Grant Agreement, that, that's a throwaway argument. That's a, that's a bit of nonsense that the FAA is foisting off and you should know about it only so that you can recognize what it is, what it is. Okay? Let's talk about, first of all, the three parcels. And we've got a great piece of work here. First of all, how many people in the audience think that the Santa Monica Airport represents a failure of democracy? <laughs> failure of democracy. Too many meetings, too little action, huh? Okay? Let's look at that picture with all those houses around it. If you look at the Torrance Airport, which the city of Torrance has done a much better job than this city, shutting it down, it's got three times the amount of space between houses and the airport. People take off and fly over in an industrial area where all these trucks that go in and out of Long Beach uh, Port come and go, and, and no houses are impacted. The very few houses that are impacted They've really done a job to shut it down. Here we are in Santa Monica, supposedly a national model. Torrance has done a much better job. But in the airport, there are three parcels. The general aviation parcel, and you see right, right there, it says the 1948 instrument of transfer, right? Dead hand of the law, the 1948 instrument of transfer. That's what the airport is supposed to be. The FAA is a piece of the federal government you don't want to take those guys on unless you want to run our test elbow in your ear, right? That's what the airport is supposed to be, is that general aviation parcel. That's it. Then the city-owned parcel, is it was acquired by the city in 1949. Well, what does that tell you immediately? If it was acquired in 1949, it's not under the 1948 instrument of, hand, uh, of transfer. The city-owned parcel is not under the dead hand of the law, right? Then you have the non-aviation parcel that was released in 1984. Well, it was released in 1984, and almost 30 years have passed. Why would there be any aviation activities on it? Well, obviously only because the city wanted those activities. So let's look now at some of the legal agreements that tell you why this failure of democracy <coughs> continues to exist after 30 years. Okay, let's look at the first one. And uh, that's not it. That's not it. That's the uh, parcels. And uh, oh, yeah, there we go. 1981 Santa Monica City Council Resolution 6296. Has that nice, boring municipal sound to it, doesn't it? That's a piece of law that still exists. And what does it say? You know, by the way, the city airport website mentions this again and again without ever explaining it. And here is what it says. First of all, the purpose of that resolution is to declare a policy concerning the use of Santa Monica Airport and direct the preparation of a specific plan. Fine. Expires. Does it expire? No. It has no expiration date. Now, the city council could repeal it, but it has no expiration date. It exists today as strong as it did in 1981. 
and the land controlled by the city council resolution? All the parcels. Because it's the city of Santa Monica speaking, not the big bad guys in the federal government. So, what does it say? First of all, where is it? Okay, section one. It is the policy. It is the policy of the city of Santa Monica to affect the closure of the Santa Monica airport as soon as possible. 1981, they said it's a policy of the city to affect the closure of Santa Monica airport as soon as possible. Why would you run a deficit and finance that deficit year after year if it's a policy to close it as soon as possible? Okay. And to devote the property on which it is located to the highest and best use consistent with the needs of the city. Well, what's the highest and best use? You sort of think of big buildings, right? No, it's the needs of the city. I like, who, what was the lady that said about the habitat for the hawks? What a fabulous idea. That's a really good idea. I love hawks. Okay, now the commentary. This section is clearly consistent with the desires of the community surrounding the airport per the Kazmat survey. What does that mean? What's that piece of commentary? 30 years ago, they said it was the policy of the city. 30 years later, the overwhelming community sentiment says, let's do it. Uh, we haven't done it, and yet it was the policy to do it as soon as possible. Well, one way to do it, where was that pen? There we go. Is that what the pen you talked about? Thanks. Okay, I'm going to write two simple words, okay? If you might notice, by the way, I talk like I'm talking to a bunch of sixth graders. That's wrong. I talk like I am a sixth grader, right? <laughs> legal minimum. Legal minimum. It's a beautiful word. See the word legal, right? We all want to follow the law. And the word minimum. Well, we know about minimums and maximums, right? I want to pay the minimum. I want the maximum whenever I can get it, right? Legal minimum. Remember those two words. They're simple and easy, OK? It's a policy of the city of Santa Monica to affect the closure of the city of Santa Monica airport as soon as possible. Well, would one way to do that would be for the city of Santa Monica to do the legal minimum it has to do. Hey, the airport needs a million dollars. Well, do we have to spend that money? Nope. Well, let's not do it. Hey, the city of the Santa Monica airport needs another million dollars. Should we spend that money? Heck no. That's not the legal minimum. Okay. The next thing that it says, because it says the second thing, is that the establishment, this is 1981, remember. The establishment of a base of airport operations on the north side, sorry, it's missing that, on the north side of the runway for such period as the, the city is legally required to operate the airport. Okay, so they're talking about let's close it as soon as possible, let's condense the operations on the north side, and let's do it only so long as we're legally required to operate the airport. Well, legally required, that's one side of the coin, right? What's the other side of the same coin? We're legally required to do something, but we only have to do the legal minimum. We don't have to subsidize it. We don't have to let people use it that we don't want to use it. We don't have to defer the fact that kids are inhaling lead particulates as they grow up in their million dollar houses in their $2,000 a month rental apartments. We can do the legal minimum and defend ourselves by saying we're not going to take that. Now, let's look at the commentary, which is pretty important here. Let's see if we can move it over. Oh, there you go. OK. If the city removes a city-owned parcel, which one's a city-owned parcel? Let's go back to that. Which one's a city-owned parcel? <coughs> There we go. If the city removes a city-owned parcel when it's able to, and by the way, that's July 1 of 2015. By the way, July 1 of 2015, that sounds like a long time from now, doesn't it? No. Like if, yeah. if, if you were wanted a hamburger tomorrow and you had to wait till July 1 to 2015, it would be a long time. But in the life of a city, in the life of a city, that's actually very short. We need to start planning today, okay? If you take that out today, by the way, let me ask you something. That's a runway, right? <laughs> yeah. If you take out a chunk of that runway and leave the rest, are you discriminating against anybody? 
No. No. Right, yeah. In other words, if you can land on the runway we've got left, please do. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> FA-18 Hornet. You know what the FA-18 Hornet? My father lived and died in this city, and he, he designed a little piece of the FA-18 Hornet. Fabulous. They take off straight up, and then they fly at like 600 miles an hour. They could use it, right? Yes. They, you're not discriminating against the U.S. military. Now, if you had a jet, you know, by the way, not a single jet that you've heard in the last month, not a single one of those can land on that short of runway. But are you discriminating against them if you said, hey, you're welcome to land if you can kind of land on that one? <laughs> no discrimination. Okay. So if you take out the city-owned parcel when you're able to, are you doing the legal minimum if you are legally allowed to take out that parcel? Right. If you're not, if you don't take out that parcel, you're doing more than the legal minimum. You're saying, here, I, I don't like myself. I want to do something bad to myself. Please take my runway and use it. Okay? Second, the non-aviation parcel was released in 1984. Why the heck would that be used in any manner to help the operation of the airport? It was released in 1984. 1994 was 10 years. Now, 10 years is a long time. I can, even for a city, 10 years is a long time. Well, why was all aviation usage of that parcel not stopped by 1994? It's not stopped today. Go there tomorrow morning and see what aviation stuff that supports the airport is on that. You'll find it. And then finally, you have the general aviation parcel under the 1948 uh, aviation parcel. That's under the dead hand of the law, right? Now, let's go back to these, these simple, simple legal agreements. 